Hey movie lovers, this is Jan. I want to give you my review of the movie The Menu. The movie is about an egomaniac chef that wants to provide the ultimate menu experience for his top-notch guests on this very, very exclusive island. You have to try the mouthfeel of the mignonette. Please don't say mouthfeel. Tonight will be madness. Welcome. We'll endeavor to make your evening as pleasant as possible. But this time, the menu has a little bit different ingredients than I normally expected. The whole world that is presented here is the world of ultra fine dining. An obsession about quality, prestige. I have to beg of you one thing, it's just one. Do not eat. Taste, savor, relish. Consider every morsel that you place inside your mouth. Be mindful, but do not eat. Anya Taylor-Joy plays Margot, a girl that ended up by accident in this very exclusive and bizarre environment and throws a big wrench in the chef's plans, fantastically played by Ralph Finney's. Who are you? Margot. My name is Marco. I've served many Margos. You're not a Marco. No. What the f does it matter? It matters because this menu, this guest list, this entire evening has been painstakingly planned. And you are not a part of that plan. So, is the movie any good? I will let you know right now, but do me a favor and click the like button so the algorithm knows that I exist. The movie is outstanding. Normally I get really scared if a trailer gives away a lot of the plot, which it actually does, but it doesn't hurt the experience, which says a lot. My estimate is that 80% of the moviegoers will enjoy this movie. So it is a horror comedy, but it's pretty light on horror. So if you're very sensitive, I think you can still handle it. Now I'll give you the five reasons why I think this movie is really good. Reason number one, it makes fun of the right people. It makes fun of the ego-driven, egocentric, self-centered, narcissistic people that are obsessed with outer success and outer values. Reason number two, the plot is outrageous and you constantly ask yourself what's gonna happen next. And the audience was also very animated and that's a very good sign because it's uh, pretty rare that uh, people react physically, moving, laughing, and that was the case for this movie. So I'm very happy to report that. Reason number three, Ralph Finney's. So you've seen him in many, many roles, and this one is, again, top-notch performance. Welcome to Hawthorne. I'm Julian Slowick, and tonight it'll be our pleasure to feed you. The curtain rises. Over the next few hours, you will ingest fat, salt, sugar, protein, bacteria, fungi, various plants and animals, and at times, entire ecosystems. Anya Taylor-Joy is also wonderful to watch. She's doing a brilliant job. and you, The camera can't get close enough on her. It's wonderful. And also, of course, all the other actors are I have to say, they're just brilliant. They, they picked the best one. Nicholas Hult or Hong Chao, they were just wonderful. So, an actor's fest. Reason number four, a beautiful interplay of images, sound, and rhythm. Meaning editing, but also the images. Oh my God, the images of the food. Gorgeous. Reason number five, I really like the message of this movie. The message of this movie is all about not losing your heart in doing the things you do. Since it's a story of the master chef, we get a glimpse of his life story. It seems that he started 
with a little bit of heart. There's a small hint in the end that he actually started cooking with heart. But then it all became about ego, success, obsession, absolute obsession. Margot tells him in the end, you don't cook with heart, you cook with obsession. So this obsession drives him more and more and more, but never fills his heart. So we even get a backstory of his childhood and maybe I shouldn't give it away here, but there's a really interesting element in the restaurant, um, a family member. Yeah, I don't want to give it away. Just, you know, you'll see. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's the main message. You know, whatever you do, don't let your ego run the show. Don't let what other people think of you control you. Look for the heart in things and act with your heart. Now we come to the bonus part. What if the movie was a collective dream and what does it mean? Before I start with that, hit the like button if you haven't done so yet and subscribe. That would be fantastic. So if this was a dream, I would say you dream, the dream is of a house, the building where the restaurant is in. The house symbolizes your self, not the ego, but yourself, your, your bigger self. But it's uh, the ego has locked all the doors and it created a process, which is the menu in this case, which created a process of self-destruction. You, as a witness, represented by Margot, Anya Taylor-Joy's character, um, you witness how the ego destructs itself. I can't tell you the end of the dream because that would be a spoiler, but that makes sense to me and I hope it makes sense to you after you see the movie. And thank you very much for watching. See you next time.